Welcome to the continuation of my video series on forest inventory. In this particular video, I will be taking us through a work example on stratified random sampling technique. This is part two of uh, the series on stratified random sampling. So if you have not watched the part one, I encourage you to check it out so that you can understand what we are doing in this part two of the video. So uh, here I will be looking at an example and we'll see how to obtain our estimates to do our calculations uh, when we use stratified random sampling technique. So let's get going. So I have a question here for us, which we want to solve together. The following data are the results of an inventory carried out to obtain the total volume of trees in the 40 hectare forest. So the entire forest area is 40 hectares and we want to obtain the total volume of trees. Now, two vegetation types were distinguished in the area, meaning that the entire area is not homogeneous. We can recognize two vegetation types. And 0.5 hectare plots were randomly selected from each vegetation type. So the selection was without replacement. So now we are to, I mean, we have this data. So we said the area has two vegetation types, so the forests and savanna. And the area occupied by forest is 15 hectares, savanna occupied 25 hectares of the area. And we have established five plots. So here we use uniform allocation. So we have five sample plots from each of the vegetation type. And the volume estimates from the five plots are as provided in cubic meters. So we are to estimate the total volume of trees in the entire area and set up 95% confidence limits for the estimate. So we want to estimate the total volume of trees in the entire forest area of 40 hectares from these data sets. So let's see how we go about that. So to solve that, we first of all need to compute the mean volume for each stratum. So the forest area that has this volume for the five plots, we have to find the average. The one for savannah also that has volume for these five plots, we have to find the average. And that's simply done with this formula. You know, mean is usually total plus, I mean, total divided by number of observations. And that's what exactly we have done there. So for forest vegetation type, we have 68.0 cubic meters. And for the savannah vegetation type, we have 39.8 cubic meters. So that's simple and straightforward. Now, the next we are to do is to compute the mean of the stratified sample. You know, each of these means we computed here was done for each stratum separately. Now we want to find the general mean that's combining them together. That's what we are doing here. So, the, for the mean, to get the mean for the stratified sample, we use this formula here, where NH is the total number of sampling units in a particular stratum, and Y bar H is the, or by Y H is the mean for the stratum, for that particular stratum, and N is the total number of sampling units in the entire forest area, that's in all the strata. So the total number of sampling units in each stratum is, which is the NH, can be obtained as area of the stratum divided by size of each plot. And for the vegetation stratum, we have 30 plots. Then uh, savanna vegetation, we have 50 plots. And the two gives us a total of 80 plots, which is our capital N in the formula there to be 80. 
So you can see how we obtain the 30 here for forest and 50 for savanna. Next is we now implement this formula. So NH, so this for forest. You know, the mean we obtained for the forest was 68.0. And then for savanna, we had 50 as the uh, size. And this 39.8 as the mean. So we multiply that out, multiply this out, I'll add the two together and divide by capital N, which is 80 in this example. And so this gives us a total, I mean, uh, a mean of 50.38 cubic meters, 50.38. So that is the mean of the stratified sample. Now compare that 50.38 to what we have earlier on. You know, we have 68 for forest, 39.8 for savanna. But the mean of the whole thing is what we have just computed, 50. 0.38. So that's how to do the computation. And this is the mean volume per plot across both strata. Since each plot is 0 0.5 hectare in size, that's half an hectare in size, it follows then that the volume per hectare will be 50.38 times 2 because each plot is half of an hectare. So to get for one hectare, you just multiply that value by two, which is what gives us 100, 100.76 cubic meters per hectare. So this is the volume now per hectare. Now for the entire forest area, what will that volume be? The entire forest gives us uh, 80 plots, 80 sample plots, that's the capital N. And we said each, the average per plot is 50.38. So when we multiply that out, we will get this for the entire area. Another way of looking at that is we know the area for the, we, we have data on the entire area in terms of hectare. This one is 15 hectares, the other is 25 hectares, giving us a total of 40 hectares for the entire area. So if the entire area is 40 hectares, and we have this value, 100.76, as the volume per hectare, volume per hectare, if we multiply this 100 by 40, it will give us the volume for the entire forest area. So that's another way of obtaining this value here. Either you multiply the volume per plot by total number of sample plots, or you multiply the volume per hectare by total hectare of the entire forest area. So that's what gives us the total volume for the entire forest area. And that's an important estimate we need in this particular task. Next, you know, we are also asked to do, to compute confidence interval confidence limit but before we can get that we need information on standard error and before we can get information on standard error we need to compute variance we need to calculate variance so this is a formula for calculating variance if you are familiar with statistics you will realize that this formula is just the same only the notations differ but essentially the formula is the same so uh, what each of these means, of course, this is a, for a particular stratum, the value, those volumes you have, you square each of them and add up the values. That's what gives us this value here, which is, uh, you come back here, 81 squared plus 85 squared plus 76 squared plus 52 squared plus 46 squared. That's what we did here. So that's what we did here to give us this value. But if we add up all the values together without squaring, add them up first 
and now squared the total. That's what gives us, and uh, that's what we are doing here. This 340 is the addition of all the volume for forest. Then we need to square it and divide by n, small letter n is 5 in this case. So when we evaluate this way, we will get the variance for forest as 315.5 cubic meters and that of savanna as 125.7 cubic meters. These are the variances. Okay, let's move on. Now the standard error of the mean of a stratified random sample is given by this formula. So this is the formula for the standard error of the mean of the stratified sample. So one, the capital N, you remember our N. All these are things we have used in previous uh, calculations. So you just bring, bring in the values here. Now, this component here, 1 minus NH over capital NH, this component in brackets, is called the finite population correction factor, this component. If sampling is with replacement or the sampling fraction within a particular stratum is small, if it's with replacement or the sampling fraction is very, very small, the finite population correction factor, that is this component in bracket that I refer to, can be omitted. But then, of course, in our own question, we are told that sampling was done without replacement. See, the selection was without replacement, without replacement. So if it is without replacement, then that means we must include this component and that's why that component is included in, in the formula so we expand the formula out this way as you can see if you go back to previous calculations you will see the source of each of these values here so just put them as appropriate and find the square root of everything and that gives us 4.03 cubic meters 4.03 cubic meters. So this is the standard error of the stratified random sample. So to estimate the standard error per hectare, of course, we know that our sample plot is half of an hectare. And that's that uh, standard error we got here is per sample that's per plot that's what this value is so to get per hectare we just multiply it by two and that will give us 8.06 cubic meters so this is the standard error for volume per hectare similarly we can compute standard error for the entire forest area and that's what we did here here i used two approaches and they arrive at, we arrive at the same answer either you say the standard error per plot times total number of sample, sample plots in the entire area, which is 80, which gives us this. Or you say standard error per hectare times the area of the entire forest in hectares. That gives you 322.4 also. So either method is correct. You get the same answer exactly. So having done that, we are now to compute our confidence limit or confidence interval. And the formula for that is simply estimate plus or minus t into bracket standard error. Estimate plus or minus t into bracket, uh, bracket standard error. So the t is the t value from statistical table at n minus 1 degrees of freedom and 0.25 level of significance. So t will be obtained from statistical table, t table. Se is the standard error of estimates. So, you know, we have three sets of standard errors here now. Standard error for the plot, standard error per hectare, and standard error for the entire area. So, in the same way, I mean, you should take note of that when computing confidence limit. So, the student's T value at these degrees of freedom is 
you wonder why we say five minus one, five minus one here. You know, we have two strata, forest and savannah. So we have eight. And the degrees of, I mean, sorry, the student's T value, uh, that is 1.86. Now, the standard error for the volume per hectare is 8.06 cubic meters per hectare. So the confidence limit then for the volume per hectare will be this. Estimate, that's the volume per hectare, plus or minus T value, then into bracket, standard error of estimate. This is the standard error per hectare. So when you evaluate this, it will give us 100.76 plus or minus 14.99 cubic meters per hectare. And since this is plus minus, it means this value is a range actually. And the range is from 85.77. You wonder, did I get this? That's 100.76 minus, you know, we have plus minus. So when you minus, 14.99 it will give you 85.77 and when you do it plus 14.99 it will give you 115.75 cubic meters per hectare so this is the confidence limit what does this mean this means that even though we have obtained the value of our volume per hectare to be 100.76 cubic meters per hectare based on the five sample plots we use from each of the uh, from each of the strata now the actual population mean assuming we measured all the entire 80 plots in the entire forest area and we now obtain the volume per hectare from that population estimate the true value of the population will be between this value it will range between 85.77 and 115.75. So the population estimate will lie between this range. It will fall within this range. So that's the reason for computing confidence interval. So for the plan for the entire plantation, that's the entire forest area. We have the estimate for the entire forest area plus minus this. So that this is the standard error for the entire forest area. This is the T value. So we multiply that out, it gives us 599.66. And that range will be from 3430.74 to 4630.06. So that is the answer we are looking for. And that is the confidence interval, confidence limit for the entire forest area. In subsequent videos, I will take us through some other sampling techniques that can be used in forest inventory. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. So, and uh, don't forget also to click the notification button so you can receive an alert as soon as I upload a new video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.